Hello everybody and welcome to the first of the playthroughs of the first video of Cattails, which is now, as of today, in alpha. So uh, very, very excited for this. I didn't really check it out other than to make sure it worked. I have installed both the backer skin and the deluxe backer skin, or colors I should say. I'm not entirely sure if I remember what they look like, so we're going to go ahead and learn all this stuff together again. Empty slot, that's fine, and this is going to be a uh, skim kitty. Uh, that's... why is it capitalized? There you go, skim kitty is my name, don't wear it out. I don't see the particular color scheme here as a selection, so I don't know if I can select it later on. So for now, we're gonna go with green eyes and this nice kind of orangey coat. I like that quite a bit. All right, so Skim Kitty is now here, we're ready to go. Um, oh, okay. This is very important, guys. You gotta pay attention. Just a cute little kitty at the pet store. Fall in love with mama. I'm making musical noises, I'm singing. We're driving home, I'm still singing. I'm a happy cat. Happy little kitten, purring away. Mom takes me home, I got food, she loves me. I take a nice little cat nap, a little me nap. And uh, make, make a mess a little bit, you know? Everything's kinda thrown all over the place. Mama's smiling though. Mama doesn't seem to mind too much that I'm making a mess. Uh oh. But somebody's not so happy about it. They're they're angry. You can see like the angry mark above their head. And now mom's upset. And so my somebody's or dad's upset. Somebody. Maybe there was a girl that had that that was my owner, I guess. And uh and mom wasn't happy about it and they, they dropped me off. <laughs> and now I'm all alone. And it's uh it's scary out here, guys. Seriously though, all joking aside, that cutscene's a little bit brutal. <laughs> but it's alright. Hey, what are you doing out here? What? What? Me? Hi, how are you? It's Coco. You don't look like you're from around here. Is it that obvious? I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? You can move your cat. Sweet! And you talk with E. Hmm, you say your name is Skim Kitty? That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. You say you were left here all by yourself? Dropped off on the side of the road? How terrible! Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to know how to forage. There should be golden, uh, golden seal around here. It's a little green leaf plant with a bright red berry. We use it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some and bring it to me? Shouldn't be hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. All right, cool. Let's go look for some golden seal. That's it right there. We got it. We got it. E to pick things up. We're gonna walk back this way. Can't pick that up though. No, I can't. I looked at that rock was maybe pick up a bull. I got some. Looks like you found some golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? You have to dig it from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sure, I can do that for you. Gotta hold that in my mouth. Hold. Yeah, there you go. Hey, great work. You'll be forging like a pro soon enough. You go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when to make him a handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. I didn't know cats had an inventory. <laughs> My fur would have mattered. Okay, there's lots of plants that grow around. Wild glow uh, golden seal, uh, lavender catnip, and marigold, to name a few. They have unique uses. Okay, just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested, and some plants will only grow in certain seasons. There's seasons in this? That's awesome. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You need some plants like berries and, and licorice root, but they don't fill you very, up very fast. You'll have to, you mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own paws. That's good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make for tasty snacks. Find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you'll have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, mice aren't very good at spotting us cats, so you can get pretty close. Then pounce on the mouse, once you're focused and ready. If you did it just right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss your first few tries. Hunting is tricky, and you won't always catch your prey. Alright. See if we can find him. Oh, right there. Ah, oh, right there. 
See now now they're actually hidden a little bit until you sneak. That's new. So if you're not if you're not sneaking, you can't see them very well. That's that that is new. And they have a radius around too now. And you press space to pounce though, by the way. Oh, what? I was so close to that guy. Alright, so focus bar is filling up. Pounce. Got him. Got him! It's actually a lot of fun. It's like a little mini game. I quite enjoy pouncing in this game. Nicely done! You're a natural hunter, Skim Kitty. By the way, guys, you can totally, totally make uh, little kittens in this game from what... I don't know if you can yet, but I think that's the plan eventually is to have families and stuff. But you need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse. Don't let it get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt, though. Okay. Most will see further away than a mouse will. You can always get better at hunting by sp sending, spending experience on your passive hunting skill in your skills panel. Alright. In the D in order to survive in cattails, you can see how hungry your cat is at the bottom left hand corner. If your hunger is reduced to zero, you start taking damage from starvation. Go ahead and eat the mouse. Alright. I keep hitting E instead of... Stop! Okay. <laughs> eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Skim Kitty. It could be the difference between life and death. It's really not a great name now that I think of it. Now that, But he's cute, right? Now then, do you have any special skills? Any sort of training that cats of your upbringing go through? No, none at all? Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. Ooh. I don't, think there, I don't think Sprint was in there before. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. Maybe it was. Alright, what is it? Alright, it's been added to your active skill bar. Sweet. You can use it by either clicking the sprint icon in your active skill bar or by pressing 1. Try it out now. Woo! -hoo! Actually, I think there was a sprint of some. I think it was uh, a berry, though, that you could eat. You can use sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds for it work using it again. Every active skill you learn will work in a similar way. Alright, experiencing up. Lots of skills available combat skills, travel skills, support skills. You can also use experience to upgrade your past skills, which are hunting, fishing, forging, and swimming. Yep. You should also know something else about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cat found trespassing another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's their way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operations for protection. Often those colonies clash. Border skirmishes or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How about two of us spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. I think space. Ah, yeah, space. Ka. Uh, Skim Kitty's pretty brutal looking. Can I can I beat him up a little bit first? Can I weaken him? Ready to spar? Let's do it. A few pointers. Pawing each other's claws, yep. It takes time to complete an attack. During that time, you won't be able to re react to my attacks, so time your attacks just right. You want to make use of your agility to escape my attacks. Anticipate my swipes and get out of the way before they hit. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking because I won't be able to turn. Same goes for you. Ready? Oh! I don't know. If, I don't know if the best thing is just like tank it out. Ah, oh, that worked all right. That worked all right. I got him. You put up a good fight. I'm not really quite sure what the optimum fighting is yet, guys. I'll have to put some time into learning that. You put up a good fight, Sin Kitty. You got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience in your past fighting skill. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your political muscle, too. Every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of the colonies, surely you will want to join one. It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know all three of the major colonies here have a spare den to give you if you'd like it. We're actually not far from the forest colony right now. I'll lead you there and help you get settled in. Follow me, Skim Kitty. You bet. You bet, buddy. You bet, Coco. Yo, this is my place! This is my crib! This is Skim Kitty Crib. You in Skim Kitty's, Kitty's hat house now. Skim Crib. It's a scrib. <laughs> That's so lame. Here we are. This is your new den, Skim Kitty. You'll want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. And, and you can also store stuff here, too. We're at the part ways. It was good to meet you. We may see each other again soon. If you've had a busy day, why don't you get some sleep? Is that cat teleporting? Did... The F? What in the world was that? Alright. E to use the bed. Uh, let's, uh, let's save the game. And let's go to sleep. Good night. I'm adorable. <clears throat> Alright, cool. It's morning time. 
I had a little skim cough and uh, and now ready to go to continue on with our journey guys to continue on with our journey Good morning. I heard from Coco will be seeing new face today. My name is Mayor. I'm the leader of the forest colony. I'm here to give you a warm welcome Hope you find it uncomfortable enough. We were keeping it nice and tight in case someone like you came along You'll find a pretty friendly bunch of cats around here. You want to go around and introduce yourself Make sure you get to know Ember, our shopkeep. You should also say hello to Doc, our healer. I live just behind your den out on a little island in the middle of town. Come see me if you get lonely. Anyway, I'll be taking off now. Welcome to the forest colony. I'm happy to be here, man. Happy to be here. Let's go say hello to everybody first before we do anything else. Hi there, have you come to check out my fine wares? Introduce. Ember, and I run the store around here. Got lots and lots of stuff for sale. Stop by if you need anything. Ah, you bet. I will do that. I will do that. Here's Doc over here. Hey there, how are you doing today? You know, I don't believe we've ever met before. My name's Doc. I look after the sick and wounded. If you're ever feeling icky inside or out, inside or out, you come and find me. Cool. Pleasure to meet you. I'll be seeing you around, I'm sure. A C Missy, if I remember correctly, is a little bit of a... Uh, she's, she's got a nose in the air, you know, to say it nicely. Um, who are you and what do you want from me? She's pretty, though. Look, you don't know me and I don't know you, so let's get one thing straight. I'm Missy and I'm the most important cat in the forest. Got it? Now leave me be, you're wasting my time. Ah, you're a darling. Alright, Scout. Scout's pretty cool. Hey, do you need something? I don't think I know you. How's about we change that right now? Name's Scout. I work for Mayor. Our little Connie relies on my skills to make sure our borders are safe and all. It isn't a glamorous job, but hey, someone's gotta do it. Dude, I'll be helping you out as much as I can. I, uh, the fighting is pretty cool, actually, in this game. So, why don't we go ahead and get some stuff done today? Because I, I, I don't have, you know, I, I don't have forever to record this video. It'll have to end at some point. But uh, before we get to that point, why don't we see if we can get something cool accomplished? Oh, I didn't see that bird over there. So you have to You can't just like run really anywhere. Everywhere you go, and especially if you're hunting, you gotta kind of scout a little bit sometimes. I saw a scout like in the uh, in the crouch area. I think I can actually kill this. There you go. I got him. You can knock down the butterflies, guys, and you can give them for gifts. So we got some lavender here. That looks like it's something a little bit special. Not something that I, I don't remember seeing. That at least. Oh. Mouse. It looks like they no longer give you the circle around him. It was just for the, uh, oh, another mouse. There you go. That was nice and close. Any fish in here? Sometimes there's fish in the water, guys. And you can f you can go, uh, go in for them, too. Water, by the way, can actually drown you, so you do have to be a little bit careful. There's money in the game. You can sell to the shopkeep to get some money. Just gonna periodically kind of go into crouch mode just to see if there's anything we can see. Why don't we go for the squirrel if we can? Ah, no go, no go. The mouse is still over here. We'll go for the mouse now. There you go, got him. Got him, any fish? Nope, no fish. I like the fact that you can't actually see every, any, everything until you're crouched down. Now, it doesn't necessarily make logical sense, but uh, it does kind of make it so you can't just like run around the map all the time. And you kind of have to be a little bit more cautious of what it is that you're doing. So, And we do have a map in our inventory. I'll show you guys a little bit around the inventory first. So, Lavender, what does it do? Use a strong scent to gain power for your colony in an area. Nice, I like that. It looks like there's quests. There's quests down, down that way. We should go down that way. All right, and then I change it. Ooh, okay, so here's the, uh, here's the two, here's the Kickstarter one. Whoa, Emerald, that's crazy. And I think this black tab, this might be the other Kickstarter one. Let's go, let's go with the, this Emerald one for now. Let's go for the Emerald one for now. And that's also where you can put the promo codes in, it looks like. You can also put it in, though, in Steam itself, in case you needed to know that, but. So in our inventory, we also have the map here. And you can see just about where we are, the Forest Colonies area. That's outside forest colony control. I don't know, that looks like it's Mystic, the Mystic Mountain, and uh, there's also another one. Forest has a little bit of a claim in there, it looks like, on that side. Maybe kind of containing them a little bit. So the Mountain and the Mystic are, are what I see over there in terms of the other colonies that are available. There might be other colonies further in too. I'm gonna go for this butterfly if I can, uh, if I can get to it. Got it. Yeah, I think the butterfly, I don't know if, it, if Missy, Missy likes one of the kinds of butterflies, or maybe a couple of the different kinds of butterflies. I don't remember which one it is that she likes, but all the, all the, um, all the butterflies and stuff, a lot of the stuff you can give as gifts. I mean, a lot, the food you can too, but a lot of this other stuff can be given as gifts. 
And some of it's kind of rare. I bet I can... Who's this? I don't think I met Olive yet. A big juice of trout would be perfect right now. Maybe Olive likes uh, trout. That might be something I can make work. I'm gonna go for... If I can find that bird, I want him. But I guess, the, I guess like my first goal is probably to actually... See where the heck that... Uh... My hunger's okay? Yeah, my hunger's fine. I kinda wanna see where that event is, that, that question mark. But we also need to keep our hunting up a little bit. At the very least, it doesn't hurt to have extra food and stuff. Or to have stuff that you can sell or give away. Ah, I got too close. And he ran on water. That squirrel was running on water. Oh boy, there's a fight. There's a fight. That's what it is. There's a lot of people here. I grabbed the coins from the dead guy. And now I'm running away. I can't, I can't face all those guys. Wow. So that's what that must mean. That must be conflicts. It must be the areas you can fight. Should we check out that other area? We lost a little bit of health there. Nothing that some golden root won't solve though. So let, let's, let's use some golden seal to heal ourselves up a little bit. And let's also, let's also eat a little bit just to make sure we have um, some decent amount of uh, hunger meter. And let's see if we can actually get over here and fight with the other group. We might be, we might be, uh, we were severely outnumbered on that one, guys. All right, I must not have been close enough. It's like a percentage chance to catch these guys when you're when you're uh, pouncing at them. Let's go for this guy. Got him. Let's pick up some golden seal because I did just use a little bit. I want to keep my golden seal population up. Here we go. All right, this is much more favorable for us. I'm gonna go over here and get some flanking shots on. We're watching our health. We're watching our health a little bit. The battle is won. Yes. Good, good. Let's talk to some people. Hey, some kitty. I've been uh, lost the past few hours. Good to see a familiar face. Must be going the right way. What do you have to say, stream? I made up my mind to try to sneak away from the borders and see how far I can get before another cat finds me. It's dangerous, but exciting. And you, Marley? Meow, meow. <laughs> Fair enough. So we won a battle, guys. We won a battle in our first episode. That's pretty cool. Um, the other battle didn't seem like it was winnable for us, so at this point, I'm going to probably say a no-go for that. Um, definitely want to do a little bit more hunting, but I think we're... Ooh, let's go for this bird. It's got to be a pretty wide circle, you got to think. So let's just... Oh, we got him! We got him. Ooh, a little mouse. That's right. The mouse circles are pretty tight, so we can get it... Oh, not that tight. Not that tight. I was wrong. Oh, he's still here. He's still here. Stupid mouse. You do have to be facing them, or like relatively facing them. All right, good. We got him. So we're actually on the back side of, uh, of uh, where we live now. So that's okay. It's not a big deal. Time? Oh, it's getting a little bit late. It's get, it's like the early versions of late, though. It's not late late. It's just early late. Maybe we'll play out the rest of this day first and then uh, see where we are after that. What is this? I can't go in there, it looks. But I do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that could be a cool thing. I want that. Got him. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. They're not as rare as I had originally thought. <laughs> I figured they were rare. Let's get a couple more in case anybody in, in, the, uh, in the town likes fireflies for gifts. Or we could at least sell them. I did notice there's also some food up here. Let's go ahead and try to get a mouse. There you go. Is that other mouse still here? Yeah, he is. Oh, he's coming my way, though. Got him. Good work. Good work, guys. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty productive. We'll sprint out of here a little bit. Oh, I didn't see the bunny. We'll sprint out of here, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll call this a night. It's our first night uh, here, and uh, I gotta say it was pretty productive. I think we uh, we filled up our we filled up with quite a few goodies. We got some stuff we can eat. In fact, let's eat a little bit before bed. I think that's probably wise. You know, so we're 100 percent now, 100 percent, and uh, we got some other goodies too. Maybe some stuff we can sell. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. Do we have any skills? We have some XP, and we have enough to XP. We have enough to level up. You know, we're gonna level up in the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed, though. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new on the channel. Uh, we'd be happy to have you around more often. So, with that being said, I've been Skim. You guys have been you, and this has been Skim Kitty. And uh, Skim Kitty is absolutely adorable, and also quite green. I'm not sure if I like the green. It's it's pretty cool, but we'll go for the black tabby for a little while, just to be unique. All right, guys. 
Peace out.